All right, so I'm gonna to try to learn this zoom through effect or the zoom through eye effect uh, going through this window uh, from my motorcycle. So I'm just gonna go uh, hop down on my motorcycle, drive around the block and try to zoom back in through the window uh, into me right here. Um, all one take, all right, cool. So it's about at this point that my gimbal runs out of battery and I have to go back and get these two clips later. Uh, but yeah, this is the tutorial. So I've watched quite a few of these zoom into eye effect tutorials uh, and I found a faster method. And what I eventually learned is that a lot of these tutorials are making it harder than it needs to be. Uh, so I'm mostly going to be focusing on teaching the methodology and I don't really plan on t taking a lot of time tinkering and making sure that my shot is perfect for whatever I'm doing. So first we're going to go through the normal way that everybody else is teaching. Then we're going to stop right before we zoom in and I'll show you what you can do to save yourself some time. Uh, the method that we're going to be using to accelerate this process is pretty simple. We're going to be changing the anchor point of the PNG file or layer. Uh, that way when it's anchored to this new point, it will zoom in to that new point instead of zooming into the middle or the center of the screen. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you. Pull up the Xbox recorder. Bam, we're recording. Alright, so these are the two clips I've got here. Uh, I've got this cool one with the lights going behind my house. And then I'm turning the corner real quick and we're gonna stop. And that window right there is where I live. So, I wanna go through that and I wanna come into this clip of me sitting in my room, uh, being boring and then eventually uh, jumping up and turning the camera off. So, first thing we wanna do is we need to make a screenshot. So you're going to come into this, I want to find the exact point where I stop, right there. So the first thing you want to do is take a screenshot, so you're going to want to export this frame. Be sure that import into project is selected, so you're going to import it into project. It'll pop up, I'm going to drop that right in, and it should just look pretty smooth if you run it. So here we go, yep, still smooth, um, but remember we want this scene popping up behind. So, we're just gonna render that, make it look nice for you. Come back to you in a second. Render my brain too. All right, and we're rendered, fully rendered, looking nice. We got the turn, and we got the complete stop. Perfect. Okay, so you're gonna select this still image, go to effect controls, then you're gonna hit up your opacity tool. Uh, because I'm going through a window, I'm gonna use the square, but if it's, I'll use the pen, whatever. Uh, now you're gonna wanna zoom in quite a bit. I'm gonna go to 150 and then try to find my object. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's somewhere in there, there it is. There's my window, there's my window. All right, so mine's a square. I'm just gonna try to make four nice little points. Try not to put too much thought into this because again, I'm just going for methodology. Now we've got just my window. We don't want that. All right, so get back in there, 150. Where are we? There we are. So what you're gonna wanna do, go back to your opacity tool and click inverted, inverted. So you'll see as I shift these frames, I'll pop up. So it doesn't look great just cause it's a, you know, it's just a gray screen. We've got it layered behind. The next thing we wanna do is zoom in. All right, so this is what a lot of people are doing wrong. Um, they want you to zoom in, uh, I think, at the wrong time. And they, they want you to scale forward at the wrong time. Uh, so a lot of them will be like, hey, scale, uh, and then, you know, and then drag. Make sure your position's good. So like, you're constantly dragging and moving and readjusting and, and then scaling again. It's, it's, it's a big waste of time. You don't want to do it. So what you're going to want to do is go in, click your first frame, and then you're gonna click the actual motion. Uh, and you're gonna find this blue dot in the middle. This blue dot's really important. Uh, you're gonna move this blue dot and I'm gonna try to put it in the center of my window. Um, I'm probably gonna have to zoom in again because it's not a great shot, but doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so that was pretty close. Um, 
Moving a little bit to the left. All right, there we go. I'm going to bam through the center of that window. So if you'll notice what this changed, uh, not only did it change um, the anchor point, but it also changed the position. Um, that's because the anchor point changes the position. And in order for it, the screen to stay in the middle, if you change the anchor point, you're going to have to change the position. So it want, the program is designed to keep the screen in the middle off the bat. So all you have to do now, just scale, no position. Um, position's already taken care of. So Jack says to do this pretty quick. We'll do it about 10 keyframes, just like he says. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I forgot to set my keyframes. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, don't forget to set your keyframes. Um, so, and this, it's just scale, because position's gonna stay the same, as is your anchor point. So, set your keyframe on scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and then I think a good number is about 3,000. Just like It's Jack Cole said, or 3,500, something like that. And bam! Ah, it's pretty quick, pretty cool. So, uh, to give you the full effect, there you are. What's important here is not the outside of how it looks. Uh, what I'm gonna go through is I'm gonna feather and I'm gonna do some masking and, and maybe I'll actually even put this whole image on top because for some reason I've been able to get it looking better through the window. Um, or able to keep particular elements of the window that I would like to zoom through. Um, but right now I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, so here we are, cool lights, coming around the corner, come to our quick stop, and there we are, zoom right through. Uh, and this image, you're basically just going to want it to leave when you want it to leave. Uh, so you can adjust it early or late. Uh, if you have it set on the final keyframe, like these, you can actually even adjust the length of the zoom. You can spread it out make it a, a really slow zoom. Bam. I don't like that. I think it looks better quick. I think Jack's right. Um, yeah, I'd even consider shortening it. I don't know how many keyframes that is. That's the gist of it. If you want to save time on your zoom-ins, you have to change your anchor point. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think my new company name is Fresh Things Club. Subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching Fresh Things Club. Subscribe. Peace.